ZVI, ZVika, Green Gold, Hebrew, ZBQ. Gringold born 10 February 1952 is a former Israeli officer who fought during the 1973 Yom Kippur War as an IDF tank commander. He is one of only eight people who fought in the war to be awarded the Medal of Valor, the nation's highest medal for heroism. He is a former mayor of Ofakim. Early life Greengold was born and raised on Kibbutz Lohemi Hajitaro English, Kibbutz of the Ghetto Fighters, founded by Holocaust survivors of underground and partisan combat against the Nazis. His parents were among the founders of the Kibbutz. Yom Kippur War 21 year old Lieutenant Greengold was home on leave when Egypt and Syria launched a coordinated surprise attack on two fronts. He was not attached to any unit as he was about to take a course for company commanders. Once he realized war had broken out, he hitchhiked to Nefek, a command center and important crossroads in the Golan Heights, where he initially helped with the wounded, as no tanks were available. When two damaged Centurion tanks were repaired, Greengold was put in charge of them and, at 2,100 hours, was ordered to take hastily assembled scratch crews down the Taplin Road, Greengold's. Koa Zvika. Zvika force spotted Syrian tanks belonging to the Syrian Army's 51st Independent Tank Brigade, which had broken through the line and were advancing unopposed northwest along the road to Nefek. Greengold's two tanks engaged the opposing T-55s, with Greengold destroying six. His tank was damaged, so he switched tanks and sent his original tank back for repairs, then he spotted the advancing 452nd Tank Battalion. He engaged the enemy, taking advantage of the darkness and moving constantly to fool the Syrians into thinking the opposition was stronger than it was. Greengold destroyed or damaged ten enemy armored vehicles before the confused Syrians withdrew, believing they were facing a sizable force. Even Greengold's superiors were deceived, as the fighting wore on, he did not dare report how weak he actually was over the radio for fear it would be intercepted. He could only hint, The situation isn't good. At a time when Zvika force consisted of only one tank, Colonel Yitzhak Ben Shoem, the brigade commander, assumed it to be of at least company strength. For the next 20 hours, he fought, sometimes alone, sometimes in conjunction with other tanks, displaying an uncanny knack for showing up again and again at the critical moment to tip the scales of a skirmish. At 2,230, he was joined by eight or ten tanks under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Uzi Moore. After being briefed by Greengold, Moore ordered an advance. Most of his tanks were knocked out by a Syrian force, Moore was seriously wounded, Greengold's driver was killed, and Greengold's uniform caught on fire. Greengold took charge of one undamaged tank, while the other two carried away the wounded. He had to change vehicles half a dozen times as his tanks were knocked out. Greengold recalled in a 2015 Jerusalem Post article that at sunrise, he was part of a force of 14 tanks that engaged an entire Syrian armored division made up of some 100 tanks and 40 armored personnel carriers." When Nefek itself came under attack from a fresh force of T-62s, he and others rushed over to bolster the defense. In a lull in the fighting, an exhausted Greengold got out of his latest tank and dropped to the ground, murmuring, 
I can't anymore. Afterward, he claimed 20 enemy tanks destroyed. Another estimate places his tally at 60. Topic: <laughs> Post-war. Until 2008, he lived in a Galilee hilltop village. He was one of the founders of the vegetarian food company Tyvel and the managing director of Fruitarum Chemical Company. In 2008, he was elected mayor of the Israeli city of Ofakim. He regularly speaks to people in and out of Israel, mainly high school children, about his acts in the Yom Kippur War. In 2016, Brig. Jen, Rez, Yer Nafshi told Israeli TV that he had personally concocted the story of Greengold single-handedly destroying a large number of Syrian tanks. Greengold described Nafshi's claim as a «blood libel». <laughs> <laughs> 